so we're doing two sets, and this first time we're, we're uh, putting all the, the allegedly funny stuff into this set. So uh, <laughs> so we're about to do our thing, uh, the, the little, little look back at the year's events, and uh, after that we'll come back out and do uh, music for my record. So I think, uh, for the, yeah, for the second set we should have a good 20, 25 people, but stay around <laughs> for this next one. Let's get the guys out here now. We've got uh, Grant Ty and... Uh, the new guy, who's this? The new guy, Scott Stevenson over yeah. there. Casey McDonough of Woo. NRBQ is joining us on the bass guitar. Uh, I talked to one guy who said he's coming here. He's come here for years and years to see the show, and this year he's bringing his daughter. She turned 21, so this is like a family affair. This is like you bring your, you know, you get a grandchild born, a niece, you wait 21 years, bring them here. Break them in, break them in. You guys over there in the corner, you can't see Scott Stevenson. He's going to be doing some funny shit in a minute over there. We'll, we'll, we'll have to have a teleprompter Spoiler. built like next year that'll show what you're doing on this side of the stage for these people. Camera. All right. You know, it was a it was a really good year. Let's. Say it was a pretty. Did you guys have an okay year? Did everybody do okay? Like, you know, it's been some rough years for like the past. I'm speaking like generically, kind of collectively. But for the past, you know, four or five years, it's been fucking hard, right? And like, uh, even in uh, the America, it's been it's been hard. It's been hard all over. But this year, I think it was well. I don't know. Let's explore. Uh, Scott, give it to me. Not too fast, but kind of fast. Kind of half fast. All right, half fast. <laughs> Twelve. I miss those good old days already. I'd like to kill whoever said we were a nation in decline. That's your U.S. of A, not mine. In twelve. Though Benghazi might have spooked us, no Islamic crazies knew us. Oh, what a not disastrous time. Never gripped us. And politicians drove the trend. For the Dems, it was the fabled days of Christmas. For the GOP, it does an angry man. I'm talking 12. A better year for imperfection. What can we say of that election? The last bad guy won. That's true. From the downturn we suffered, we just about recovered. Two cheers for X1. So calm, so pacific, so hard to get up in them, so very like a lot of fun. Oh, what a year it was! I had a wonderful year. Let's find out what kind of year the man had. Grant, what word best describes 2012 to you? Bonanza. Are you raked it in, eh? No, I worked in one. Gigs with you aren't paying the bills these days. In this economy, you gotta take what you can get. But you know, the salad bar ain't bad. Ah! I left all the way to the bank. You did? Yeah, the bank of the Hudson River. A friend of mine lost everything in Sandy. I had to go out there and, you know, help him piece his life back together. But the whole way out there, I listened to Red Fox cassettes. Oh! All right, I'm sensing sadness behind the laughter now. <laughs> this is not going the way it's... Uh, hey, new guy. Uh, what, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Scott. Scott! Yeah. How did you go for a year? You know, Robbie, actually nothing bad happened. Oh! Oh, that's fantastic! Just a series of mildly upsetting things. Uh, my son was suspended from school for a week. Uh, an uncle I wasn't very close to uh, was blinded. Uh, my house was broken into. Uh, some cash, well, Julie got stolen. Uh, nothing irreplaceable, though. Uh, they found a benign spot on my lung. <laughs> new guy that much. <laughs> I mean, the more you find out about uh, what the year was like for you guys, the worse it seems to get. I don't, I'm almost scared to ask, but uh, Mike, how was 2012 for you? Mike? <laughs> Mike. Mike's name. My, Daryl. I'm Daryl. Thank you. <laughs> I know your name, but Mike dropped out of the show too late to change the script, so just... <laughs> so, uh, Mike, how did 2012 go for you? Um... Oh, hold on. Do it. <laughs> 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 
Does someone have a question for me? <laughs> yes! Mike, how did 2012 go for you? Oh, Robbie, you know I don't like to talk about myself on stage. <laughs> Let me see if I can say it in a song. <clears throat> Speaking as a Milwaukee, to all you Robbie Fulkins, I thought the year was great. So let me illustrate. In 12, our candidates were near Churchillian. I did a under one quadrillion. And all was quiet on the Jersey coast. Almost. In 12, a lot of awful crimes were thwarted. Some illegal self-deported. And unemployment rolls were cut. Somewhat. You know, we're bound to make our great-grandchildren jealous. Then look back 80 years from now and say, those are the 21st century fellas. Uh, what kind of supermen were they? I mean, in 12, uh, they breathed new life into the Euro. Newsmen were fair as Edward Burrow. Nary a story spun. Scarcely one. Well, it's tough to analyze it. Distinguished best describes it. If you add the prefix on, so stuff with major talent. So sort of balance so very like a lot of even for my a lot of so very like a lot of fun. I hate to gloat but lately I can't help but note how oh, so much of the popular vote goes to the one deserving party they prattle on about the death we make sure health care needs are met with them, the only visit you'll get is from Dr. Moriarty. Oh, I'm sure the GOP is ducky if your name is Hilton or Huckabee, but the rest of us would rather go with a group of smart officials symbolized by the initials. Hey.